By the end of this video, you are gonna know exactly how I am building a DIY solar wax melter to cut down on all the waste. I'm doing this for free. If you had to buy everything brand new, you can do it for under 15 bucks. Let's get to it. I'm Hugh, this is the Hillbilly Homestead, the worst homestead on YouTube. Let's get to it. All right guys, here is the situation. You've got this, if you see my previous videos that you see on the screen right now, this is my old wax melter setup and I have to constantly mess with it and wax gets everywhere and I bought pots and pans from Goodwill and then I'm scooping stuff out and that may or may not be good and then I got a crock pot that's dedicated to it. In the lean world, we call this over processing because the only thing that matters is value added and non-value added and in that equation, it's gonna be, is the wax melted and is it being strained and cleaned? So today, we're gonna build something that takes all the work out of it for you. You probably can do this with stuff laying around your house and garage already. It's gonna take you five minutes to do. We're gonna go ahead and get to it. But some people might be asking, why are we doing this? Well, outside of just honey production, your beehive is more than that. Your beehive is gonna provide you with two main products. And if you don't wanna go harvesting their wax, being disruptive, they're still producing wax that maybe you don't want. And so that's what all of this is. This is called burka. So first First off, here's some foundations that got all wet and saggy, and so we can use those. But we have burr comb, right? This is the stuff that is built in the places that you don't want it. It's under the lid. You gotta scrape it off. Here's a non-conforming, look how much junk is in here. There's, looks like there's mold. There's, uh, looks like some wax moths, uh, wax moth cocoons in there. Oh, they're actively alive right now. They're just having a ball. There's dead bees. There's a lot of junk you gotta clean out, right? And this is all valuable resources. I mean, you might look at this and be like, man, that's a, that's a lot of work. I don't wanna deal with that. So this this solar DIY solar melter is gonna filter all that for you, take all the work out of it, and you're just gonna set it outside in the sun, you're gonna come back the next day, two days later, good to go. And so let me get into the equipment for you right now. For this project, you are gonna need a Tupperware container that is clear. I have an old one that I grabbed from my kitchen. I actually got this for free with birthday party uh, that, that came and uh, I stayed back and they had food and they were clearing up and I just kept the tray. I washed it and rinsed it. And this is about the fifth or sixth time I've used this specific pan. And you're gonna need something to cut this, cut this, catch everything in. A tool, the only tool you're gonna need, we're gonna be opening that, that up. So it's not gonna be a big deal. We're gonna get to it right now. All right, guys, now the first thing you want to do is site selection. As you can see, this is south. This is south. The sun's always hitting from this angle. I'm picking an open field. It happens to be this old tennis court. You can pick a driveway. You can pick your backyard. You can pick a rooftop. You can pick a patio. Make sure it gets constant sun exposure. The longer, the better. You should be picking someplace that the shade, as the trees move, right? You got trees around me there, trees around me here. As the shadows move throughout the day, you want to pick a spot that's going to give you the maximum amount of sunlight for this to execute. So I'm gonna get to it right now. All right, guys, this is gonna be extremely straightforward. And so I, you saw me collect this. There's junk in there, there's moth worms. I've left this out far too long. You know, I end up having a family emergency going down. If you have a Tupperware container with a clear lid, you can just set this in here as it is, as you see it right there. Now, we're just gonna be filtering this through this clear or this paper towel. In fact, this is a used paper towel I used after I washed this. I then save the paper towel because it's gonna be perfectly fine. But we're gonna set this up, and this is also just a food collection. I think this is uh, one of those uh, things you can just buy in the frozen food section. I think this was a lasagna before. All we're gonna do, we're gonna cut the bottom of this out right here. And I'm actually gonna leave this just have a little bit of hair of a lip. I'm gonna go a little bit above it. I don't know why I'm doing that. Can't articulate it, I just am. I go in, and then I'm gonna very carefully. All right, then this part here. That's step one. And then we'll make sure that it can fit on there. And you're just gonna take your paper towel. Your paper towel, the width of the paper towel is really the limiting factor. You're gonna put that paper towel right there. You're gonna set this in the drip tray. And then you're just gonna find something to block the back. There I go with a piece of wood. You're gonna put the wax in there, and you're gonna cover it. This, little, this piece of wood's a little too wide, I'm gonna get a smaller piece of wood. Here we go, we got two rocks here. That'll do. You're gonna take this, right there to kind of start the whole drip process, and the rest of that, you go right on it. And there you have it. You can see the wax is gonna to start to melt and go down there. I'm gonna go find some more stuff and lift this up so there's more of an angle to it and a pitch, and you'll, I'll be back with that shortly. All right, guys, now you are seeing 
firsthand, this whole thing is a green house, right? It's becoming a small solar oven. It's gonna heat up and it's gonna drip down through the cloth and into the base bucket that we're catching everything here. This is quite warm. I can see, I mean, this has just been an hour since we were out here. All of this has slumped down and started to run down and uh, drip out the bottom. But you can see the wax dripping out of where the comb was and all the sludge and stuff. This thing already working. I can see that that paper towel is getting clogged down there. I just wish I could show you this uh, more cleanly, but I don't want to interrupt it. So we'll come back tomorrow and see what happens. All right, it's the end of the next day, and here we are. I'm going to show you the results. Check it out, guys. So there's still all this cocoons and stuff. I'll probably beautiful golden wax. You can still see some there, but that paper towel did a great job filtering everything. I'm just gonna let this keep riding. Set it back down again. That's like 20 minutes. Actually, it's like five minutes of work. And you just let it sit in the sun and the sun's gonna do all the work for you. So the last time with this video right here where I'm rendering it and scooping stuff out and rendering it, it's a huge pain. If you got value, please like and subscribe. If you think someone else would get value from this, please do me a favor and share it with them. We'll bypass the YouTube algorithm. Some, these days, someone can just behind a computer screen, boof. Never again, I never existed, but we can skip all that if you share me directly. Guys, remember to get out there and grow something. Bum, 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 bum,